came because I was interested in marine biology and like the whales but then I got taking some oceanography classes and like I just fell in love with the ocean and all that's in it. It was interesting to learn more about the chemistry behind it, how CO2 reacts in seawater and how it's decreasing the pH through a bunch of reactions. The ocean takes up a lot of carbon from atmosphere after we driving a car and heat up the house. And that's a great thing because otherwise more CO2 will accumulate and more global warming happens. But the ocean has to pay the price for it. When CO2 dissolves in the ocean, that reacts with water molecules and produces carbonic acid, that's the acidification. The first most direct impact would be the growth of the marine organisms with calcium carbonate skeletons and shells, such as shellfish, deep sea corals, cocorith floor, which is phyplankton. plankton, Terrapod and forearms, those are zooplankton. Zooplankton is uh, the food for the fish, so if you lose that zooplankton, the food source is gone for the fish. That means fish population will be affected. and especially critical for the developing countries. Um, those countries are very poor and depending on the protein source to the seafood, and those people will be affected. So it's a huge social economic impact. Canada is a high latitude country, and all ocean is very cold and relatively fresh water. The coast has called upgrading. The wind blows in the right way, surface water go offshore to replace the surface water, deep water comes up. And this water is naturally um, corrosive to the organisms. But because of the adding asponic CO2, water gets more corrosive now, and that comes to the surface. West Coast, US and Canada, is suffering this corrosive water already. And those water comes into the Arctic, and because of sea ice melt, the water gets less buffered, and acidification intensifies. And in, in the Arctic, already they found corrosive water in the surface layer. And that flows out through Canadian Arctic archipelago and comes to the East Coast, and affects the local fisheries. The monitoring of the ocean is, is a priority. It's important to gather data in, in climate sciences. So you have to go every year or every season in the same region and understand the change and rate of change. We're the future generation that's going to be trying to help protect and save our oceans and it's very important that we know about them. This is happening and let's try and prevent it. The speed of change is, is much, much faster than any geological time scale of last maybe 25 million years. The concern is that the rate of change is so rapid that organisms in the ocean cannot adapt to the speed. There is no sort of uncertainties about ocean acidification as long as atmospheric CO2 level increases, it's directly reflect to the ocean acidification.
we have to develop the method to adapt the change in near future. So we try to find the way to adapt to the new um, high CO2 world.